Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. This video is just a really quick one. I've been watching, uh, uh, I stumbled across an old uh, EEV blog um, uh, from Dave Jones from like 12 years ago. It's really old. Uh, and it's about how to set up an electronics lab and I was just checking it out. I've got most of the equipment he's mentioned so far, but he was just talking about the best uh, soldering iron to get and the best soldering iron tips to use. So I thought I'd just quickly um, see what I was doing and I seem to have already figured out that the uh, chisel tip or the spade tip, I'm not sure exactly what you call these flat flat tips that, that look kind of like a, a flathead screwdriver. I don't know what you call these. Um, chisel bit, I think he said. So I'm using that. It looks like about a one millimeter um, chisel tip. Um, so that's what I've got on my iron already. Um, and I just had a look in uh, in my drawer and I found these. I'll switch you over to a, uh, a better view of that. So put that there, get him out of the way. So these are my bits. Now, it took me a while to figure out that you shouldn't go over about uh, maximum safe tip temperature, 380 degrees Celsius. That's what my notes say down here. Recommended tip temperature, 300 degrees Celsius. I don't remember where I got those numbers, but I believed them and I wrote them down here. And I also got some uh, solder material um, melting points. So tin lead, 6040, 190 degrees Celsius. Anyway, I won't go through all of that. And of course I'm using Celsius, not Fahrenheit. I've got a chart here that, that tells me how to convert between the two. So like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, sorry, 100 degrees Celsius is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Anyway, I can figure that out, and so can you. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video, just quickly, is organize the tips that I've got. I've got a, I've got a, a bunch of tips. This is in the drawer. It just goes in my component drawer. Um, obviously, <clears throat> these two have been used. You can tell that they've been used because they're black. Uh, and that they're, they're very badly tinned, particularly this one here on the left, that's, that tinning is almost non-existent. So these have been used and they're conical, so I'm going to put those in the bin. We don't care about those. And then I've got um, a whole swag of them. This is my little silica gel. It's kind of like a little cargo cult thing that I do. I put one in all of my component drawers. Don't ask me why. Um, so uh, I've got three com three compartments here for um, pieces um, and I'm going to sort them into um, spade bit or chisel bit um, and I'm going to put chisel bit at the front because they're the best. Chisel bit and then I've got these um, ones, I don't know what you call them, they're, they're, uh, they're like circular or ovular and they're flat as well. I should probably find out what we call those, I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll put those second, uh, there second, that looks like a great bit, I'd really like to try that one out. Um, so, ooh, knifey, knifey bit, sorry you can't see that. So, um, yeah, that knifey bit, and put him in the middle as well. This is conical at the back. So, conical. Oh, sometimes it's a bit hard to tell if they're conical or chisel tip. Uh, conical. It's funny, I've got all of these different types, but I really probably only need like two types. I should probably figure out what specific ones I like using and then just buy a swag of them. Because um, what's the point in having 10 choices of conical tip when you don't even want to use a conical tip? I think this blade looking one is great. I don't know if you can see that. 
and sometimes the chisel tip's not super pronounced. It's not altogether that much different than a um, conical tip anyway. So I seem to have a bunch of these blade looking ones. I don't know what you'd use them for. <sighs> conical, conical, conical. An interesting looking tip. Ah. Alright. Well that was all I wanted to do was sort out my soldering iron tips. So looks like that's done. So <laughs> see you next time.